To help support me and get an additional $3 off, use the code R3D and the PlayAsia link below. Now, back to the video. Hello guys, this is Red from Red's Third Dimension Gaming and today I'm bringing you a review for Samurai Kagura Burst Renewal. Samurai Kagura has always been a fan service game, but the original game's story is quite pleasing and fun. Is this re-release a pleasant 3D remake of the original and its sequel? Or is it just a bad port? Let's find out in this review. In Senran Kagura Burst Renewal, you will fight through two 41 part stories. The stories for these games are cute and fun. I enjoyed a lot of the stories, especially the little romance one towards the beginning of the game. This is a full 3D version of the original 2.5D game with a retelling of its tale. This game has two stories, which is a good amount of content for one game. You have the story of the first game and its sequel, which originally released for the 3DS as Samurai Kagura Burst. In this game, you can switch back and forth between the two different stories at any time in the Shinobi Room. Once you complete a level, you can go back and play as a different character for a better time and score. I really liked Asuka. The game gives you upgrades in abilities, unlockable costumes, and more bonuses from completing story missions. There is so much to do in this game. There are three parts to each Shinobi story mission. First there is a novel part, which are not boring. There is even some voice acting parts with dialogues. Then there is an adventure part, which are cute dialogues between the characters. Finally, there is an action part, which is your short fighting battles. Some of these are just silly missions, and some are much better than others. Just in case you were wondering, there are some very beautiful CGs. I can't show any in this video because it might get demonetized. What else does this version of Burst entail? This brawler game provides an updated combat system and character models, and titillating effects. The dressing room mode has become a fan-serviced favorite and returns fantastically too. There are new outfits and costumes to add to your spectacular cast of girls. The gameplay is so amazingly fun in this game. Some girls are more versatile and nimble than others, but as a whole you have many choices for both the characters and combat. I love the amount of battle mechanics in this game. You can start the beginning of any level in a shinobi mode with pressing L1 and R1. This will make you faster and it makes it easier to complete a level. You will become super strong, but you will take more damage too. There is a burst mode gauge that once it fills up, you can enter burst mode. In this mode, your attack power will increase. The game also has finishing moves too. Don't worry too much if you're concerned about censorship. You can still do transformations and basically be naked and transform into your second form. In the dressing room, you can also take a closer look at your characters. The game has so many different combos and ways to defeat your enemies. I just loved it so much. This game has really great battle mechanics. I already mentioned that they changed the graphics to full 3D and every level and character look fantastic. I didn't notice any frame rate drops during my time playing this game. It's a much needed improvement over the 3DS version. The enemies do look bland and not so detailed sometimes, but at least our characters are pleasant to look at. Do you want even more content? The game will launch with pre-order and purchasable story DLCs. It's nice that there are additional prologue DLCs, but launching a game with DLC is a big no-no in my opinion. I don't like the idea, but at least they're adding additional content. And the game starts at $40, and at $50 you can get DLC and a special limited edition right away. Overall, this is a great Senran Kagura remaster. I enjoyed the stories and gameplay. It's much better than Dynasty Wars. Exceed is killing it with great hack and slash games. I think this game is even better than I think this game is even better than Fate Extella. It's really fun. I'm giving this game an eight and a half out of ten. It's a great game, but it comes with some questionable DLC and short gameplay parts. A definite buy for the fan service and Senran Kagura enthusiast. If you pre-order the game for $50, you get the extra DLCs and bonus soundtracks. There's also a more expensive one, which I don't think it's worth the price. If I would buy one, I'd buy either the $50 or $40 one. 
so you get extra DLCs and bonus soundtracks with the $50 one, which is not a bad price for that. It's quite a deal if you really want this game. If you would like to buy the game, you can use one of my affiliate links below, and if you want to get $3 off, you can use the code R3D in the PlayAsia link below. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my patrons for this month. Yo-Yo Mongo, Sten0328, Mike Shadow 24 and Snizzy Snaz Bullets. Thank you guys for being my patrons for this month. If you would like to help support me by donating a dollar or ten dollars, you can use the Patreon link below and become a patron. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review. Denigrate someone? I couldn't! If you must denigrate someone, then please denigrate me!